My name is Judge Frank L. Sutton, and I played basketball at Forest Hill High School, and we won the overall state championship, the first of its acceptance here in Jackson, in JPS, in 1981. My high school basketball was played at Forest Hill High School in Jackson, Mississippi, under the leadership of Coach Shelby Watson. The assistant was Coach uh, Walter Robinson. Well, Westside is definitely unlike anything that we see now. It was a great community and still is. We had some great people there. Where I'm from in Westside, we call it subdivision number two. And uh, my father was an assistant principal at Westside. Matter of fact, he was a student there as a child. He grew, went to college, came back, and Mr. Kelly Graham employed him as the assistant principal. And you know the assistant does all the work. Mr. Graham, you knew he was around because he wore a cologne called the Baron. And we could smell and tell where he was. But Westside as a whole is the epitome of what a community should really stand for. We had a first through ninth grade school, and all of us were like family. Even now today, me going to my job downtown as a judge, I go through the community just to see all the elders doing okay and seeing what the young people are doing, making sure the, the utilities are being done right. I just look out for my community. But we were raised, born, reared in a manner where we respected, we were taught the proper things to do, how to give back to the community and never forget where you come from. We went across the proverbial railroad track. When we left Fort Jackson uh, West Side in 1979, they closed it. We all had to leave to go to another school and a lot of people went to Hines HS in Utica and down there. But those of us that went to Forest Hill, we had to go across the proverbial railroad track. And when we got there, we were looking at something we never experienced before because we were from an all black school where you might have had 3% white, but then now we're going to a new area where we were like 95% white and the other percentage was us along with other persons. So it was uh, astonishing, yet we had to deal with it. We were prepared for it because our teachers at school, we had a mixed group of black and white educators and they all uh, did a lot of great things to get us ready for life. It seems as though they knew what life was going to be, you know, become and they prepared us quite well for it. MHSA changed the uh, classifications in 1981, mm -hmm. first year, and uh, that year Forest Hill was uh, won the state championship. Sure did, the first overall, first overall state year. championship in the JPS. I, I, I respect Coach Billups and all those others that have come after, but the foundational aspect was built on the basis that Coach Shelby Watts was our coach. He was a towel chewer, and he beat that towel on the floor, but Coach Watts came to us in a way that I can I, I use that right now and I, when I talk to young people and, and do a little motivation. He told us, uh, he came one day and asked my father, who's sister principal, say, look, can I speak to these gentlemen? Because we were ready to make a decision whether we were going to go to Heinz HS Utica and, or Forest Hill. Now, Forest Hill were the rebels. We didn't care about that stuff back then. It didn't matter. We went to be educated and be athletic. We were scholar athletes. But my dad allowed uh, Coach Watts to come and speak to us and he told us, I know that you've never met me, you've heard about me, in which we had, because everybody is anxious about going to the next level. And he said, but if you allow me to do three things in your life, we're gonna be champions if you come to Forest Hill. He said, the first thing is preparation, P. Then he said, the next thing is organization, O. And then he said, the third is gonna be quite hard, it's gonna be discipline, P-O-D, preparation, organization, discipline. He said, if you allow me to implement these things in your lives, we're gonna be champions. And it did occur that way. We, we went in, he prepared us. We went to the study hall. He was the driver's ed teacher. And Coach uh, Walter Robinson, the assistant, was the history teacher. We were, we were tight in our academics. Our parents were teachers and educators and people that labored within the school system. So, and everybody was held accountable. Your mother could straighten me and my mother could straighten you. And my dad straightened everybody. It just was a community effort. But Coach Watts came and when he came, he made an awesome impact on each of our lives. Every one of us. No, none of us that have left there cannot say anything that's not right about Coach. Well, he, he made, and he's dead now. But we, he uh, left and went to Central Hines, but we gave him the victories he never had before. Overall state championship, we were excited about it. Yeah. Then when they were singing, we are the champions of the world. You know what I'm saying? Did ACDC back in black. Right. Stuff like that. Right. You know, but it, it was a great time. It was a great time. Another one bites the dust. Right. That kind of stuff. <laughs> you know, those things ought to make you get excited. Yes, yeah, yeah, that kind of stuff. We had a plethora of awesome athletic individuals. Our number one player was Mark Coleman. Mark was a high-flying guy. And those that remember him posthumously in terms of athletics, he was drafted a sixth round by the L.A. Lakers. Mark could play above the rim, all state. And Mark, uh, the first, when Duke 
Mark Allery played Duke at Valley. Coach Stribling was coaching. The first two of the game, they threw it up and Mark dunked the ball. And they, they really tentatively got close to winning that game more close than any ever. Then we had Michael Ferguson, uh, Keith Ferguson, the Ferguson brother. They were our post guys. I was one of the power forward. I played center. I played, I was, I was the super six man, but I was all state football player. So I got in where I fit in. I didn't have to start, but most times I started because somebody was hurt, down or out. Then we had Kenneth Knight that shot a left hand jump shot. And we had Joseph McKinley with our big man in the middle. He ended up going to Livingston University over in, I want to say Alabama. The Ferguson brothers played at Valley State. Mark went to Valley. And Danny Withers was our awesome point guard. He uh, now is a, uh, he, matter of fact, he went to Bell Haven as well and played there. Uh, he played under Coach Murphy down in Hines, down in, in uh, Raymond. But we, all of the guys that were the starting five and the six guy, we all, man, we all, all of us, it, we worked together. Guess what now? We didn't just start at Forest Hill. We played at Westside Junior High. We played against Powell, Chastain, Rowan, uh, Blackburn. We played against everybody. Now, this is the funny part. Here I am, the big man. I'm about 6'3", 6'4", 260 pounds, 250. And I was all-state football. But then I, I was the leading scorer at, far, at Westside. But when, when I left there and began to play football, Mark, Mark and Ken and all those guys took over. Right. But we didn't get excited. We wasn't. We wasn't competitive where we were trying to knock one off. We were trying to push the other one up. You know, it's a, all, we, all we want to do was win. All we want to do was win. And we, do, we did it the right way. We did it the right way.